the Department of Energy has taken it upon itself to propose a new rule that would essentially increase the maximum flow of shower heads. And this comes after the president just last week complained about this issue during a tour of the Whirlpool manufacturing plant in Ohio. Listen to this. You go into a new home, you turn on the faucet, no water comes out. You turn on the shower. If you're like me, you can't wash your beautiful hair properly. You waste 20 minutes longer. Please come out. The water, it drips, right? You know what I'm talking? They put restrictors on. I got rid of that. I signed it out. Yes, while some of us get our best ideas in the shower, Trump gets his only ideas about showers. I mean, we laugh. But what if this whole time, low-flow shower heads really were the reason that Trump's hair is so weird? I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I'm prepared to see Trump coming out looking like a dehydrated Dolly Parton. But this is what's so frustrating about Donald Trump, is that he can get stuff done, it's just that he only cares enough to do it if it affects him personally. So, America's best hope for beating coronavirus is if Trump thinks that one of his kids might get it. No, one of the kids he likes. And by the way, I I just don't wanna think about Trump in the shower. You know, it's like hearing your grandma complain about all the ads on Pornhub. No, Mima, now that's in my head. But let's move on to the United Kingdom. Westeros with electricity. In the wake of COVID-19, their economy has been one of the hardest hit in the world with their GDP plummeting 20%. But in classic British fashion, they are keeping calm and carrying on. The UK's first major outdoor concert is offering maybe a glimpse of the future. Take a look at this. Sam Fender performed for 2,500 people in person at the Virgin Money Unity Arena in Newcastle this week. The venue was sectioned off into small groups, letting fans rock together without getting too close to other groups. The outdoor setup includes 500 separate seating sections with metal fences, which are for groups of five to attend and watch the show. Tickets reportedly sold out immediately. Yo, massive props to the UK for figuring out how to do concerts in the age of corona. Because I don't care what you say, that is awesome. Although I will say the mosh pit just didn't have the same energy. I gotta figure that out. But still, this is the best way to keep socially distant at a concert. I mean, it's either this or going to see Lou Bega perform. I mean, there's plenty of elbow room either way. In fact, this is how all concerts should be from now on. Even after coronavirus is over, this is the future. Although I bet there's still gonna be that one asshole blocking everyone's view of the stage by carrying his girlfriend on his shoulders. That doesn't need to be a thing. It needs to be banned. It doesn't just ruin the concert for people who can't see. It also discriminates against us guys who lack the upper body strength to carry our girls. Not everyone has traps, okay? So, concerts might be coming back, which is really good news. And here's some more good news from overseas. Countries in the Southern Hemisphere are now well into their annual flu season. But it turns out that because people have been social distancing and wearing masks for coronavirus, they're basically stopping the flu as well. So they got two benefits for the price of one. You know, it's like how you stop vaping to be healthier and then you get the added benefit of no longer looking like a douchebag. Now, there's no guarantee that this will happen everywhere, but this could be great news for countries in the Northern part of the world when their flu season hits in November. Although that only happens if people are taking the necessary corona precautions. And it looks like in America, people might be dealing with corona season, flu season, and idiot season. The new mask showdown in the Sunshine State. A Florida sheriff is banning his deputies and visitors to his office from wearing face coverings. In his order, he mandates the 900 deputies and staff on his force not cover their faces for routine work, saying in part, When you are on duty working as my employee and representing my office, masks will not be worn. And it's not just deputies. The sheriff in Marion County, Florida says anyone from the public who goes inside the sheriff's office must also remove their masks. Okay, this is batshit crazy. A sheriff in Florida is banning his deputies and anyone entering the sheriff's office from wearing a mask. Like, I thought the police's top priority was supposed to be keeping people safe. But I guess wearing a mask gets in the way of their actual priority, showing off their sweet porn stashes. I mean, you've almost got to admire the balls on the sheriff. Everyone is protesting against police shootings, and he's like, I hear your demands. From now on, we'll come up with a different way to kill people. 
What? Nobody's getting shot. Don't get angry at me.